Hey everybody, Mike Wolford here from the Dude's Kitchen and today I got three words for you. Biscuits and gravy. These aren't any biscuits and gravy. These are low carb. These things are the bomb. I really dig these things. Super simple to make, but I do have my cheat sheet over here. So first thing we're gonna do is we're going to take about, I don't know, about that much butter, which is uh, about a little over three tablespoons of butter. And I need to melt this down. Just throw it in there for a few moments. While it does this thing, it does call for a cup of almond flour. Now remember, almond flour does have carbs in it. Actually quite a lot of carbs. I mean, not compared to regular flour. But there's quite a few carbs in this thing, still. And just a little extra. Just call for two eggs. Calls for a tablespoon of garlic powder. And a teaspoon and a half of baking powder. Butter's almost melted down. I'm gonna start kind of putting this all together. Okay, our butter is just there. Take it off, flat top here, pour it in. Gonna use this over here because we're gonna make some uh, uh, the gravy, or sausage gravy. Mix all this up nice and good in here. I'm gonna throw some cheese in here. I got about a quarter of a cup of cheese. Throw it in. Gives a little bit more depth of flavor. All right, that looks pretty darn good right there. I'm gonna take some parchment paper. I'm gonna lay it on the griddle. This is gonna help us just cook our, our biscuits. I'm going to take my little scoop here. I'm going to put a little bit of vegetable oil in it. Help it out. Look, lay a little vegetable oil on here too. Kind of holds it down a little bit for parchment paper. And basically, it's just a drop biscuit. That's all it is. And normally, I'd say cookies at 350. So I did the test beforehand to kind of see where we we're at. And it did say 350, so that's a good thing. What I love about this Cuisinart is it is a two burner system. There we go. Now the next part here is I need to get some more butter. I'm gonna do about the same amount, about, about three tablespoons of butter. Throw it back here in a pan. Again, and it does call, this recipe does call for four ounces of cream cheese. I'm gonna throw it in and kind of let them melt together. On top of each other like that. And we're just gonna let these things melt down for a moment and then we'll be right back with the rest of the ingredients. So as our butter melts down, so will the cream cheese. I'm just gonna kinda mix up a little bit with my two spatulas, kinda get them working together. Doing their thing. A 
coming along quite nicely. All right, we're gonna let it melt down just a little bit more, and then it's time to add our ground pork. All right, so during the break, I smashed down our cream cheese a little bit more, because I think now it's time to put in our ground pork. perfect just like that so I'm gonna cover it here for a few moments kind of let things settle down just a bit and then we're gonna finish this up the gravy so we're about five minutes into it we're just kind of taking a look at our sausage here we're gonna cut it up it kind of helps it cook a little better but I really want to keep the cap on as much as possible because I've got these biscuits over here cooking and without the cap to kind of keep the heat in, these things kind of struggle. Especially with that as cold as it is out here. The wind out here is blowing. It's just kind of crazy, guys. All right, we're going to cap this back up for another five minutes and then check it out. We'll be right back. Okay guys, we're back. It's been five minutes. Time to check these out. Sauce is just coming, coming along quite nicely actually. Mash it up just a little bit more. We're going to give it another five minutes and check it out. All right, we're back. It's been five minutes. This is actually looking pretty good, guys. It's time to add some water to it. Now, the recipe does call for two tablespoons of water. I happen to have four here, so we're just going to start with the two. Put it in there. Now, the recipe does not call for cayenne pepper, but I know I'm gonna need some. I just want it all in there. I'm gonna throw in a little salt and pepper. Move these around a little bit. Oh, looking good. Coming together quite nicely over here too. Give it another stir. It kind of does its thing. All right, we're gonna give it another five minutes. All right, it's been another five minutes. I think it's time to put the heavy cream in it. I did move the biscuits over to the side. They're coming along quite nicely. They really are. Let me just move them over to the side because it's a little cooler on the sides because I don't have this burner on and they're supposed to cook at 350 for about 25 minutes. I'm going to put in a cup of heavy whipped cream. Now, I usually like to do this at the very end. The reason being, when it comes to heavy cream, the longer it sits, the more curdling it's going to get. Now in order to, to reduce this, they recommend like xanthan gum or almond flour, something along that line. But since they don't have like a, a boatload of extra carbs in it, I'm just going to kind of let this thing just chill out for another 5-10 minutes. And then I think we're going to be done. So we'll see you in 5, we're going to check on it. And then uh, after that, who knows? Be right back guys. Okay guys, another 5 minutes is down time to check these things out. Now before we get to the gravy, I just wanted to say that during the five minutes I did pop the lid open and I checked the biscuits out and they're coming along quite nicely but because we're, for one we're outside and two I keep closing and opening the lid 
I flipped them over, that way it kind of helps them cook from the other side up, but that's all right. I want to check our, our gravy out, the biscuits and gravy, and it's come along quite nicely. Let's give it a quick taste. Mm. Man, that's got some flavor in it. Wow. What you guys are going to do this? I am going to add a little more salt. Wow. That's got good flavor. It really does. Now I am probably going to add a little bit of xanthan gum. Not a lot. I, I'm not a big fan of it. I kind of want to... Or xanthan gum. Sorry. I always call it xanthan gum. And it will help thicken this up a little bit. You don't have to use it. It just depends upon how much you like your gravy. How funny they want. You want them to be. You gotta remember, there's carbs in this thing. Be a little tricky. All right, but that is looking amazing. Oh man, that's got flavor galore in it. Biscuits are coming along nicely now that we flipped them. I think, guys, it's just a matter of another five minutes and we're ready to eat. See you in five. Okay, guys, five minutes. Let's check it out. That looks amazing. Gotta taste it. That is amazing. Holy moly. Check out one of these. Biscuits. Oh man, you gotta see this. Seriously, these things came out perfect. Jeez, oh. I think this thing's ready. I really do. This, my friends, I think is sure to delight. Awesome. Mm. I really know what I'm having for lunch today. like all sorts of crazy flavors in your mouth man you get a little bit of paprika definitely get the gravy sausage gravy you get the cheese out of that thing if you're into me and you like beer it's the way to go man uh, one more bite mm. truly awesome low carb is all get out. I don't even notice the difference to be honest with you. Being 100% on the Alright guys, that's how you do it. Biscuits and gravy outside. You can do them inside too. I, I just prefer to cook outside. Low carb too. You never know the difference. You know the recipes down below on how to put this thing together with your carb counts. If you would eat the whole thing. I'm gonna let you guys figure out you know individual biscuit and gravy so anyhow, anyhow thanks everybody for watching really appreciate it please remember to like comment share subscribe ring the bell all that good stuff we'll talk to you later remember the dude abides this time with biscuits and gravy that are low carb and full of flavor talk to you later